Today we're going to be doing an in-depth review of a product I'm sure you're all familiar with, a water bottle. A lot of us drink them, and today we're going to be looking at the Acadia Natural Spring Water Bottle. Now the water bottle is half a liter, that's 1.05 pints and 16.9 fluid ounces. That's very typical for a water bottle, and it's a good balance between having enough to drink and also being portable. This particular brand advertises an Eco Air bottle design, which basically means that it has less plastic use, which means that it's lightweight, eco-friendly, and I notice it's also a lot easier to crush when it's done, which is good for not filling up your trash can if you go through these pretty often. Now this less plastic may reduce the sturdiness of it, but I haven't really noticed any structural integrity problems. Now one thing I didn't like is that this product does not list the number of calories at all. So if you're on a diet and you're trying to count your calories, this might not be the best product because it's really difficult to figure out exactly how much you're taking in. Now the good thing about this brand is that you get 35 in a pack and they can be as low as $2.99 for that whole pack of 35. Also, five cents is what you get every time you turn one of these bottles into the recycling compound. So if you turn in all 35, you get $1.75 back that's more than half the price of the pack. Now the water bottle features a wave design, which is aesthetically pleasing and adds to the structural strength of the bottle, but it sometimes can get dented easily because of the thin plastic, and it also tends to catch water droplets as you drink more and more of the water and it gets empty, which can be a little bit annoying to look at. I think it would be beneficial if they designed the waves to be a little bit more subtle, like they have at the top, which isn't really indented as much, it's more of just a subtle wave design. Now also looking at the top of the bottle, it has a low profile cap, which is not as tall as a typical water bottle you might expect. Now this low profile is, looks good, but at the same time, it can be a little bit difficult to get the cap on sometimes because there's less threading, which, and the threading is uh, a lot more compact, so it's a little bit more difficult to screw on occasionally. As I said before, it's $2.99 a pack on the low end, which comes around to 8.5 cents per bottle, which is very reasonable. Now some may argue you could just get free water out of the tap, but I mean, come on, we're not barbarians here. Now I've been using this product for about two weeks now with no side effects at all, I haven't noticed anything. Although it will cause you to go to the bathroom more often if you drink a lot of this, but that's gonna happen with any water you drink. The expiration date on the bottle is about a year and a half out from the time you buy it, depending on how long it's been sitting on the shelf. So I don't know if it's going to have a different taste or any more side effects the longer you go into that expiration date or past it. But like I said, the quality seems fine to me. Finally finishing up, we can get into taste, of course. This is definitely going to be a little bit subjective depending on who's drinking it. But I thought it was a, a really good water flavor, you know? Water doesn't taste like much in general, so that's what you want. You don't want it to taste like anything. Definitely better than the tap water because tap water is disgusting. But overall, I really enjoyed the taste of this one. So in conclusion, I'm going to give this a rating of 8 out of 10. I think they can improve this by getting more subtle in the wave design so it stops catching water and getting dented. But everything else seems to be pretty top notch. Can't really complain otherwise. So that's pretty much it. But I want to hear from you guys, so let me ask you, what brand of water bottle do you use, or do you just drink it straight out of the tap? So that's it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and try to make new videos at least once a week. You can also follow me on Twitter, Twitter handle is at TheoJoe, just like my username. If you want to check out some previous videos, that'll, those will be on the right hand side, so you can see those as well. And all the links and everything will be in the description to Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. So thanks for watching, I will see you next time, have a good one.